All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's Arash Divazar, a.k.a. Achilles. This is SeductiveInstinct.com, where you're going to learn the tightest game on the motherfucking planet. I said it, and I meant it. I'm going to talk about peacocking. What is that? Okay, let's take it way back. Okay, this is a, a principle that I learned from mystery, and uh, I'm going to kick it down to you the way I know it. You look at a male peacock, it's the blue one with the incredible feathers. Those feathers do no good for survival. It can't run away from predators, it can't fly with it. In fact, it makes it a huge target having those feathers. The only reason for the feathers is to attract the female. The female seeing a male peacock with healthy feathers knows that the peacock knows, the, uh, the uh, peahen is the female, peacock is the man, knows that the peacock uh, knows how to survive, knows where to get food, nutrients, and get away from predators, so that's survival value, so she's attracted to the prettiest male, you could say, okay? Let's come to human world. In our world, peacocking is uh, me. I'm peacocking. My tattoos are peacocked, okay? You don't have to get tatted. The way you dress, um, some kind of accessory. Uh, if you watch the VH1 pickup artist, the guy's a boa, that's a peacock in that case. Um, not, not the snake the boa, you know, it's one of those like... Uh, style things. So anyways, let's get into this, okay? Painted nails, eyeliner, shit like that, alright? You, you figure it out. Check out a book called Seduce with Style and POALingo.com. <clears throat> uh, that's where you can find the book or look it up. Seduce with Style has a lot about style. But let me tell you about peacocking. Some people don't believe in it. Like, well, I don't have to dress up like that. Well, motherfucker, then you're not getting the girls that I'm getting. That's for facts, okay? When you peacock, you walk in and you're definitely different than everybody else. Alright, now you gotta be socially calibrated and you have to know game. Otherwise, you're just gonna look like a freak. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> knowing game and peacocking is very powerful. In fact, peacocking is part of game. If someone says, I know game and I can teach it, but I don't believe in peacocking, then you don't know game, okay? So go back and study, all right? So, let me, let's go over this. The fact that you're peacocking puts you in danger with other guys. Other guys will maybe um, harass you, make fun of you if you have uh, nail polish, eyeliner, and shit like that, or if you're dressed in like, you know, some outlandish outfit. That's a survival value. That means you can hold off the guys when you're into a uh, club environment or a bar or a party or whatever the fuck it is, right? The fact that you have the confidence to peacock says a lot about you. And you can walk and still be socially calibrate, calibrated and smile and talk to chicks and be socially aligned with, with uh, high value guys. And peacocking will attract attention. You need to have something on your body that she can comment on also, okay? So a piercing, a ring, a bracelet, or necklace, whatever the fuck it is, right? So should she want to open you and talk to you, she can comment on it. <clears throat> if she does, you can assume attraction on that, okay? So see if there's anything else I want to say about this. Uh, yes, so think about it like this, okay? If a girl didn't go out, didn't glam her hair and put on her makeup and all that shit, she might still be attractive if she's really hot, but she becomes a hundred times hotter when she does that, right? Her replication value comes up. As a guy, when you peacock, your survival value comes up because it shows that you, as a man, can dress a certain way where it's different than everybody else and <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, still be okay with the amount of attention you're getting and not be goofy or weird, right? That's where peacocking goes off. People dress a certain way and act stupid. That's not what it's about. It's about being a high-value male and understanding the principle of peacocking, which is demonstrating through um, some kind of thing that you're wearing or the way you look. It's like a peacock. You're showing your colors, your, your, your beautiful feathers, and you're walking in there saying, look at me, and predators can't get me, and, and look at how healthy I am, and look at how connected I am, and I still survive looking like this. That's peacocking. If you've never tried it, try it. If you're scared, good. You should be, okay? It's, it's, not, uh, it's not an easy thing, but I don't think games should be easy. <clears throat> Anything I've ever achieved in my life, I had to work very hard for it, okay? I'm totally losing my voice right now. So, anyways, check out Peacocking. For more reference, go to Mystery Method. Uh, check out the book or study anything from Mystery. Otherwise, just try it out, okay? If you're nervous about it, that's fine. Shoot me an email. Just send me a picture. I'll help you out. I have a lot of girls around me, and they do fashion, and they can help you out, okay? Check out SeductiveVincent.com. If you're not a member, subscribe, because that's where the knowledge is. This is me. This is you. Good luck. Peace. I'm on to the next one. I'm on to the next one. I'm on to the next one. Oh, oh.